Welcome back, six years for another edition of I Read You Writes on Rome. As you can see, I got my Rome hat on and a special guest, Bella. Hi, Bella. You want to say hi? You want me to say hi for you? you probably know who she is by me talking about her at school, right? So now you get to see her virtually. There you go. Boom. Right here in your own homes. So let's move on to the I Read You Write. Last time we talked about document A, which covered the assassination, the loss of emperors in a 50 year period. Um, now we're moving forward on document B and I hope you have that out with you as well. This is what it looks like. Dee -dee -dee. Document B, two excerpts, one from Michael Grant, one from the Roman historian uh, Vegetius. Let's talk about Vegetius for a second. He's doesn't have a lot of background information on him. He doesn't have a lot of background information on him. But what we do know is two books that he has written. One, based off of what we read, makes sense. Uh, Roman history, Roman military history to be exact. And secondly, surprisingly, which is really quite matching with my partner here, veterinary medicine. What do you think about that, Bella? She doesn't care. Anyways, let's move forward. This is going to be a short I Read You Right. So following along, uh, Vegetius here talks about the laziness of the soldiers, how they became complacent, didn't really care to do certain drills, didn't wear their armor. Hence, when you're not wearing the armors, you're not prepared. You're, you, you go out and you're beaten by archers, as it's talking about here, specifically the Goths. Um, let's talk about what Michael Grant had written on the bottom portion right here. And one thing I really want to point out, because this will be also on your quiz, is conscription. I want you to think in your heads, what do you think conscription is? Well, if you think or have guessed that it has something to do with the draft, that is correct. It is a military draft. It is where you're required to fight for your country. In the United States, have we had to deal with a military draft? Yes, we have had to deal with a military draft and there were people that were exempt. Exempt, I want you also to think about that word as well. And if you guess exempt means you don't have to do it, you are correct, exempt. There were people in the military draft in the United States that were exempt, not necessarily having to join the military and that was the same for the Roman military. If we look over here, here's a whole list of them. Senators, bureaucrats, clergymen, clergymen, people who work in the church. Um, and then we have people who just tried to avoid the draft in general back in Roman, ancient Rome, excuse me. Cooks, bakers, slaves, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Uh, especially knowing what Vegetius said about how protected they are, or let's say how ill-protected they are, right? Anyway, that is what we have today for document B. Um, first paragraph covering how they weren't protecting themselves and how they got lazy. And the second paragraph really focusing on conscription, really focusing on the draft, who was allowed to skip military service and who was required to do it. What'd you think about that, Bella? Did you learn something new today? I don't think she cares. Anywho, hopefully you care. Keep it going and I'll see you when Doc C arrives. Have a good day, guys.